Let's play some more Kirby's Dreamland. I know I said I was going to drop this game, not go back to it, but you know what? I was practicing, like, against Kabula a little, and I think I figured out a way to beat Kabula on the extra game without getting hit. So, you know, in case you forgot what I was doing last time, or you didn't see me set it up right now, I'm doing the extra game, one hit, one life, no one-up challenge. And that's a really freaking long title, but you know what? We can shorten it. I think it can stand to be shortened, so... From here on out, it will be referred to as the, oh say, you're a crazy ass motherfucker challenge. It's fitting. I mean, you have to be a crazy ass motherfucker to try this. No one can possibly keep their sanity doing it. I'm already going a little nuts myself from attempting this too much, so, you know, teach his own though. I'm saying that even though it really applies to myself right now. Uh, hey. Hey, get back here. I want you. Thank you. So I'm gonna try and do this again. Whoa, that was close. But I think if I can get past Kabula and I figure out some sort of a little nice pattern-ish thing to attempt against him. So if I can get past him, I can cruise through the rest of it pretty easily. I think I've played it enough to figure out where everything is, how everything acts, and that's pretty sad. But, that's not the point. I think if I can manage to beat this, then, you know, I'd prove that Kirby's Dreamland can be used as uh, a device to measure the size of e-balls. And actually increase the size of e-balls. So, whoa. Uh, that was not a good place to stand, but it's just a hypothesis on working with right now. This is the scientific method in action, definitely. I'm just testing to see if I can actually beat it, whether my um, e-balls or e-nuts as some... Why did I swallow that? E-nuts as some might call them. Thank you, Kirby. I, I just want to see if they'll grow a little. I mean, I'm pretty sure they will. You probably think that too, but you know, just in case. Uh, we need to test it out. You know, I think maybe that's what the designers of this game were thinking, too. It, you gotta wonder. I mean, it only has two difficulty settings, but they're so frickin'... What? <laughs> get away from me! Get away from me! Get away from me! No, how did I get hit there? I don't care. Okay, thank you. That's good enough. I don't want to ever go back there. That's probably the hardest part of the early levels, so... You know, they were probably thinking, like... Hey, uh, dude who, they probably just were making it up as they went along. The dude made the game for children, and then they're like, <laughs> that's way too easy. I can beat that without getting hit. And then he's like, oh yeah? Well, try this. And then they're like, okay, well I beat it. And then he's like, oh yeah, but can you beat it without getting hit? And then they're like, well, I don't care. And then he's like, try it, bitch. And then he makes that config mode, and then... From there on out, Hal Staff was just a bunch of sadists and masochists. That's all I can figure from it. Of course, they all—they probably said all that interaction right there that I just talked. Ooh, that inter. Quit doing that. Yeah, they probably said it, you know, in Japanese. So it, they probably sounded like ten times more awesome when they were doing it. And that's okay. I can live with the fact that I can't really speak Japanese and not sound totally awesome, but it's not something I'm gonna lose sleep over. Oh! I might lose sleep if I can't beat this, though. Pretty sure I can. Thank you.